Banned from sleeping in public, now being purged from the woods. Where will the homeless population go? Welcome to Wake News at 6. I'm Lois Tomey. I'm Chris Safati. Law enforcement has swept multiple encampments now, cleaning the trails of mess and muck left behind. And some of these encampments are right in our backyards. Wake News reporter Asha Patel joins us live in Fort Myers with our top story. Asha, these homeowners say they're afraid. Afraid is the best way to describe this, Chris, because we tried to talk to a neighbor today and he did not want to be on camera whatsoever. And the other neighbors we tried, they didn't answer their doors. And let me tell you, we knocked on about 10 doors, but their message is pretty loud. It's written right in front of their yards. No trespassing. It's a quiet neighborhood with a loud message. No trespassing. Nearly every home has these orange and black signs or surveillance cameras right at their front door. I had a chance to speak to a man who volunteers as the neighborhood watch on 3rd Street. He didn't want to be on camera. Neither did any of his neighbors. Why? Because of this home going up in these red and orange flames. He tells me he's afraid that this will happen to him because there's a problem with homelessness right in his backyard. The man who lit this house on fire was arrested for arson and the property owner at the time told me that man is homeless. We do rely on people to call us and if they're aware of an encampment to let us know so we can check into it. And that's exactly what happened Friday morning. Mayor Kevin Anderson called Fort Myers police and their homeless outreach teams after he got a call about a homeless camp on 2nd Street and Poinsettia Avenue. FMPD and code enforcement were on scene. You can see tents, a bike, blankets, along with many other items collected from that area. Mayor Kevin Anderson says this is a problem that isn't just going to go away. All we do is really wind up moving the problem. They don't go away. And, and what a lot of people really need to understand is this is a mental health issue. It's not necessarily about housing. Uh, it's mental health and substance abuse are two of the big drivers. Mayor Anderson says he's trying to do what he can to clean up the neighborhood and make sure people are safe, but it's a long road. You know, as I walk through downtown, as I drive through the streets and I see the homeless gathered, the personal side of me feels bad. Um, but I also have to look at it as a, a, a leader in that how does this affect the entire city? This is definitely a sad situation. I mean, as you can see over my shoulder, there are several items that law enforcement collected today, but Mayor Kimber and Anderson really emphasized to me today that if you see camps or homeless people around, contact his office or contact law enforcement so they can find a way to help these people and keep the community safe. I'm reporting live in Fort Myers. Ash Patel, Wink News.